Hey, what's up, and welcome to live.besttechie.net, the place where we talk tech, answer your tech questions, and of course, everything technology-related. Uh, I'm sure most of my viewers, uh, or pe people who watch me on YouTube and visit my website, are aware of what a web browser actually is, right? I mean, you know that a web browser is a program that runs on your computer, whether it's Windows, Linux, OS X, whatever. Uh, you know that a web, I, I presume, and even if you don't, now you're going to know, that web browser is a program that runs on your computer that allows you to visit websites on the internet. So you can like visit besttechie.net or youtube.com or google.com or bing.com or microsoft.com or apple.com or any one of the dot coms or dot nets or anything out there like that um, and see what's going on on that particular website via your web browser. Now, what a lot of people don't know uh, and this is according to the guys at Google, and I, I kind of, I, I agree with them. I think that most people out there don't know what web browser they're using, or don't even know what web browser actually is. So the guys, some guys at Google, what they did is they created a website called whatbrowser.org, and I'm going to show it to you. It's really cool. It's a little nifty website. It has some diagnostic stuff on it, uh, a few featured and tweaks. I, I, they're not really tweaks, but they're settings you can change in your browser. It shows like three or four of them. Uh, and depending on what browser you have, and it also tells you what browser you're using when you visit the website. So I'm going to show this off, um, and I'm going to play a little video that they played, because um, I think they explain it really well. And this is a good tool, and the reason I'm showing this off is because it's, I think it's a good tool if you are helping someone troubleshoot their computer. Because look, I'm, when I'm in college, or I'm in a class, or I know I, I've talked to I've talked to friends who say, you know, they they've tried to help their you know their, their mom or their friend, or, and they're like, you know, they're, what what browser what web browser are you using? And they're like, what Windows XP? Or they don't even say XP; they just say Windows or Microsoft. And like, what what are you talking about? That, that means nothing. It's not a web browser. That's the operating system or the company. So this this website will be a good tool. Um, you have the per the person you're trying to help go to this website, whatbrowser.org, and you can basically find out what browser they're using. It'll tell them and it'll show them how to do certain things. Anyway, so let me switch over to my monitor so you guys can see the desktop that's going on here, and I will uh, show you the website really quick. So I'm going to switch over as you can see right now. I am at whatbrowser.org as you can see that right here. And if I scroll out just a little bit, you can see over here in what browser there is. You can try a new browser down here. It'll give you some recommendations. It sees I'm on a Mac. So it says, try a new browser for your Mac. I'm currently using Firefox myself. But it says you can try Safari or Opera. And of course, Google Chrome is not available for the Mac yet. It also, as I talked talk to you about, it has a few useful hints or tweaks or setting changes. How to change your home page, how to change the search engine and so on, change your default browser, and it even goes under the hood. This is the good stuff if you're interested in, which my viewers may be interested in. You know, you can run benchmarks and JavaScript performance tests and things like that. Check the ACID through web standards if your browser is compliant, things like that. So anyway, if I go back to the main site, and it see it's lo it loads right here. It says, you are using Firefox 3.5, released in January 2009. If I were using Safari, it would tell me that, and it, it just picks up what your browser is using. So here's the little video. I'm going to play the clip. You guys can watch it. I think it's a good video. I think it explains it well, so I just want to play it for you. The most important program on your computer is your web browser. And yet, most people aren't sure which web browser they're using or what a web browser even is. Let me try to explain by first telling you what a web browser is not. A web browser is different from Windows or Mac, which are systems that allow you to manage files and programs. And it's different from a search engine, which is a website that is used to search the internet. Instead, a web browser is a program on your computer that allows you to visit websites. You get to your web browser by clicking on its icon. From there, you enter web addresses, and the web browser displays the web pages for you. The web browser is the most important piece of software on your computer. I'm going to pause it right there. Um, you know, Google is going to say that, but, um, you know, it, it's a very important piece. I'm going to switch back really quick. Uh, the web browser, of course, is a very important piece of software on your computer because so much stuff today is done on the web. There's just everything is, well, not everything, obviously, but there's a lot of stuff that's done on the web or 
applications um, that are, are tied into web services like Tweety or or any you know any of the Twitter apps out there or even emails tied in it has to do with the internet and things like that so you know a, a Gmail all that stuff is tied into your browser or the internet um, quote unquote you know in large terms the web uh, and the internet so this is a good site I recommend you check it out or you share it with your friends so they can figure out what the hell browser they're on I mean come on we're in 2009 you gotta know what browser you're using so share this link around they have a thing you can share it on Twitter and Facebook probably the people on Twitter know what a browser is so you can probably share it on Facebook with your friends from school who may not know what a browser is anyway this has been live dot best taken on until next time we'll see ya and remember remember take care of your computers and browse safely